Hello, in this episode I'm going to be discussing a year in review. A lot has happened, both good and bad. Stay tuned, I'll explain more. We'll be right back. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Holy moly, was this quite the year. Let's start it off with the bad news first. Uh, in, the, in the past three months, I lost two very special people in my life. Uh, first was my sister. I lost her about three months ago. She died unexpectedly. Uh, yeah, it was a sad, sad loss. And then followed by her just a couple of months ago was my good friend uh, and mentor and beekeeper and former co-worker Ken Mulstein passed away unexpectedly suddenly in his sleep he passed and he helped me a lot with beekeeping and just being a friend I really appreciated him and I really do miss him gonna miss him some more especially coming up with beekeeping season Mm, well, moving on, uh, let's talk about, well, this. Uh, one epic thing that I managed to sustain was my weight. Uh, a couple years ago, I had some epic weight loss, uh, lost about 86 pounds. And this year, I was able to manage my weight. I kept my weight right at a manageable stage where I am healthy. I feel good. Right now I'm at 197 pounds and I, ha I want to get down to 185 because there's some projects coming up that I want to do and I want to look good when I do it. Yeah. So, homestead updates and upgrades. Yeah, this is why I brought you guys into the greenhouse, because this is one of my favorite upgrades. First of all, let's start at the front gate. I had to realign my gate. It was dragging, so I got it realigned, and now it just opens and closes so easy. Also, I painted the gate, painted the post, uh, added some accents and features on it, and it just looks nice, and that's what I like. I'm eccentric, yep, I'm artistic, I'm creative, you can call me whatever you want, uh, but I am happy with how the gate turned out. Yeah, moving on back, I did a lot of work on the house. I painted the entire outside of the house, uh, both surface and trim. Also went and repaired the carport which had some uh, bad metal pieces in it and Jeremy my son helped me do the repairs on it and then when it came time I completely renovated the deck. Yeah I replaced the whole deck floor with this new plywood deck surface, painted it and used all the deck boards that I pulled up to shore up the awning. This is an engineered awning that just is not able to handle the snow loads we have been getting lately. Yeah. Uh, same way with the carport. I use extras on the carport. So now I don't have to worry about the carport collapsing under a heavy snow load like we had worries about that in the past. In fact, that's how the carport originally got damaged because of a really bad snowstorm. It just bent and broke some of those metal pieces. Fortunately, I had in my resource pile some identical pieces, three identical pieces to replace those with. So I'm going to use those pieces in a future project, but I'll talk the, about that after the first of the year. Finish my fence. Yes, my back fence. I finished it finally. I got the, I just topped it off with some uh, metal conduit 
and put in what le a deer fencing I had left over and it was just enough. It worked out perfect. And then I was able to prune my grapes and we'll just train the grapevine along the top. Painted my uh, back fence around my garden. Yeah, it looks much nicer. It ties everything together and it just, to me, it's more aesthetic. Uh, and that's what I like. I just like, to th I just like my farm to look neat and tidy. Uh, so, greenhouse. My favorite project, I put a coat of paint on the outside, painted the trim, got that all done. Then I came inside and completely painted the inside surfaces white to reflect more light on the plants. Went down and bought some building material and I, per, uh, I, I rebuilt all of the shelving and replaced all the shelving and painted them inside here. You can see that. It looks... It's, it, it's so much nicer in here and it gives me more growing space for more plants, flowers, and vegetables. Uh, one of the other features that was one of, one of my favorites to make life easier in the greenhouse is over here I built or I installed a hose bib to put water in the greenhouse and that way I, don't have, I can water my plants year round because it doesn't freeze in here. I have these water barrels that absorb the heat uh, and releases it to keep the temperature above freezing. I also have this backup heater that I'm able to turn on when it gets close to freezing and keep the temperatures up above freezing. It's worked well. Look at the plants growing. I've got tomato plants growing in here. This is the last day of the year and there's tomatoes growing on those tomato plants. Never had that happen before, ever. So that is testament to success of uh, just the added features. And my favorite, I added a cement floor. That cement floor not only keeps me out of the mud, it also blocks the rodents from digging in and decimating all of my plants that grow lower. And it also acts as a heat sink. It absorbs the heat from the day and releases the heat at night so the barrels don't have to work so hard at releasing all the energy to keep the ambient temperature warm in here. It works, it's worked very well for me this year. I've only had to turn that heater on four times this year. That's it, that's it, so. And the tomatoes are still tomatoing. Yeah, yeah, I'll be planting some other plants here uh, after I get uh, wrapped up with this. So uh, let's move on into the garden. I just tried something different this year. I planted, I studied and planted things I could plant every single month, grew things out, harvested things. I still have items growing, mainly brassicas. These are cold weather tolerant plants and root crops uh, that are growing out there and we're continuing harvesting them. Yes, even today I can harvest and through next month. We'll be adding some seeds next month in January that you could start in the garden. But I'm gonna start some early plants in here to get them started when it comes time to transplant them out of the garden. I've got a, a good enough head start that the, where they're gonna be matured out. Mainly I wanna start a lot of peppers. My wife and I don't eat too many tomatoes. That's why I'm just keeping the two tomato plants. We have that small tomato and a medium sized tomato. So we'll just you just keep those. When the weather comes nice, we'll just move those outside and let them grow. But keep them potted. Uh, same way with the pepper plants, we'll just grow them potted because I understand you can bring pepper plants indoors and, through the winter. And as long as you keep it from freezing and you can prune them back, they'll come back year after year. That's what I understand. Haven't had success with it yet, but that's what I understand. Uh, so livestock, my goats, oh my gosh, my one goat, she gave me five babies, five babies this last spring. The other one gave me four. That was epic. Well, I got homes for the babies and now I've got my billy goats that broke out and my nanny goats are all pregnant. 
And I thought they were due to freshen right around Christmas, but I just fed them this morning and they're not ready to freshen yet. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to have babies this year. It might be early January was when I finally get them. Uh, so, and we'll be surprised on how many babies they give me. I'm expecting maybe uh, triplets out of one and twins out of another because they're not as big as they were <laughs> last spring. That was epic. Raised some rabbits. Uh, we did some processed, uh, got some homed into another homestead to get those homesteaders up and running with rabbit meat and protein. Uh, same way with chickens. My daughter's friend brought some chickens over and I gave them a home for a while. They raised some babies and then we re rehomed them to another homestead. And now I've got my rooster, my six hens. I've got my trio of rabbits, two does and a buck. I've got two billy goats, two nanny goats, uh, five ducks. There's two drakes and four three ducks then I've got four geese left uh, there's supposed to be two ganders and two geese there and then my turkeys I've got one tom and two hens so those are my breeding stock I got rid of a squirrel that was eating all the eggs and eating all the babies yeah a squirrel was eating all the babies. I finally got rid of that one and sent it to uh, Squirrel Paradise, if that's where they go. And now I have a better chance at eggs and uh, babies this year. Yeah, that was horrible. Watching that thing just eat. Yeah, squirrels are omnivores. They will climb in a bird's nest, eat the bird eggs. They'll even eat the baby birds. Yeah, that's how the rodents and that's what they do rats mice they do the same thing anyway oh my goodness busy all year busy 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 uh, movie making I uh, first movie I did this year was uh, a movie called Malkos it was a thriller uh, did a short uh, scene in that big movie did eve of may i was uh, i became executive producer on that movie and i've got a couple of parts in it it's now going out around the international film festival circuit it just uh it didn't premiere we had a screening at the varsity theater in ashland a couple of weeks ago and we're getting ready for another screening coming up in January so all the extras and other people can come and see it so that's gonna be exciting uh, facade was another movie I had a part in and I also was executive producer for that movie uh, and surprise I got cast uh, as an extra in another movie called 15 days uh, that movie will be due to wrap up sometime in the spring. Um, and back in, in February, I was sent a camera by the network. Uh, let's see, All Three Media is the name of the, the production company. And I was contacted by a producer from Bright Road Pictures out of New York, Mr. Ritchie, John Ritchie. And he asked us if we wanted to do another episode for the internationally hit TV show, Homestead Rescue. So I talked to the family and they agreed. So we went ahead and they sent me a camera. And this is one of the episodes that I got the film. We shared the episode with uh, four other homesteaders. So there's five of us together in that episode. And it premiered at uh, prime time on Christmas Eve. It's called... Uh, homestead and chill and you could see it on Amazon I'll leave a link down below but yeah it's like think two dollars ninety nine cents to purchase it from Amazon and you can watch it uh, yeah it turned out to be a really it's an update is what it is because that will be our fourth show we've done with them my sixth project I've done with the Rainies six um, another show I just recently did well I'm working on right now I uh, stepped out into a role of 
location scout and helped uh, a friend of mine who's a director, writer, uh, producer, Ray, uh, helped him find a location. We secured the location for wrapping up a big movie that they've been filming that stars an actress named um, Marlon Mason. Marlon Mason starred, co-starred, well, she was Elvis Presley's leading lady in The Trouble with Girls, and she has the uh, privilege of being only one of four women who actually recorded a duet with Elvis Presley. So she's in the movie. I get to meet her coming up soon uh, and work on another project with her also coming up in the future. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, so other projects I've done, uh, t two people wrote books and in their book they wrote about me and my friend uh, Larry Kendrick. He wrote a book, he writes a series of western novels. In fact, um, one of the projects next year is uh, includes that series. Uh, what I'm going to do, but I'll talk about that after the first of the year. But he wrote a book, another book, and he wrote about me in his book. So I thought that was humbling. And then Marty Rainey asked me to help contribute to a book that he wrote. So he also wrote about me in his book. Um, so those two things happened this year. And then, oh my goodness, my YouTube channel blew up. I mean, it just exploded. We got over 100,000 subscribers. We hit that 100,000 mark in May. So we got the Silver Award. And uh, YouTube wanted us to do a special show for unboxing. So I contacted Marty Rainey. He is the uh, producer, creator, and star of the internationally hit TV series, Homestead Rescue. It airs on Discovery Channel and Animal Planet. And I asked him to do a little um, congratulatory video for us because it's actually his fault that my show, my YouTube channel, kind of blew up. Yeah, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was fun. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, those were the other projects that I've worked on. Six projects all together. First project was seven years ago, Honey, I Torched the Homestead in season two. Then there was a short that ins uh, was inspired out of that show called Homestead Hacks. And then uh, we did the book, and then we did the... No, before the book, they asked us to do another episode, and that was season six, called uh, Savage Wilderness, and we, we shared that episode with uh, four other homesteaders, so that was kind of an update of the most savage uh, homesteads that they've uh, had to uh, encounter, and ours was one of the most savage uh, homesteads, the toughest places to homestead. Ours was due to wildfires. And then this the book and then this final project too so that was six projects I did with Marty Rainey and the Rainey family and the network so that was kind of fun uh, and then getting the getting the award that was epic that was really neat uh, started a new channel I ran into a guy he was my neighbor ran into him down at our local hardware store and he was loading up some uh, ostriches. They were having an event down there at the hardware store and I got down there too late, but he was just loading up the ostriches and he, I had my camera and he asked me if I wanted to film. I was like, sure. So I grabbed my, I grabbed my, uh, can't, well, it's my little cell phone. I grabbed it and I did my intro. Well, here, he, here's the show I, I filmed down there. And you can hear him kind of laughing in the background. Hey, I came down to get some feed for my animals. Stay tuned. I've got an announcement to make. We're going to look at some giant chickens. Yeah, we'll be right back. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I came down to my local resource house that I get my feed for my livestock at, and they, uh, my neighbor was down here with his big chickens. Check these out. Check out the size of these chickens in here. I mean, check these chickens out. They are huge. I got dibs on the legs. Drumstick, look at that. Awesome chickens. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's got ostrich. What I'm going to do is I'm going to network with him, and we're going to get him. I'm going to get him set up and get him trained on his own YouTube show. So stay tuned for that. This is my neighbor. He's the one that lives across the street and a couple of driveways down. Yeah. But anyway, I do have dibs on the chicken on those legs, those drumsticks. Uh, so he asked me if he if I could come over and help him um, film a. Uh, uh, a YouTube show because his daughter has been bugging him to start a YouTube channel and so that's what I went over there he only lives across the street and like four driveways down from me so I went over there and started filming uh, we named the show well he named the show Southern Oregon Safari where Buffalo Roam it includes it features Hayden which is my neighbor and his wife, who is the staff uh, veterinarian, his daughter, Aria, uh, and his other partner, Ken, uh, he's in the show uh, periodically. And then um, myself, I thought I was just going to be behind the cameras and do camera and uh, edit the show and put it together for him. He goes, no, 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 no. You're going to be co-host right next to me. So that's how the show evolved. That's what we're doing. We feature elephants. We feature a rhinoceros, a variety of cats, a herd of bison. And yeah, that's in my neighborhood. So that's a new channel that I started. And I also started a third new channel called Jerry Hansen's Studios, where I feature and highlight my art that I do. I do mainly watercolor. I do pencil graphite. I do charcoal. Uh, I've done one acrylic so far. There's others I got to do. But anyway, that's the year in review. Not in a nutshell, because the nutshell will not fit all that information. <laughs> now, getting ready for next year, I've got some stuff lined up for next year, but I will save that for the next episode on uh, the coming year. Yeah, I want to do a show on that. Well, I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Piney Meadows Hobby Farm, where Frugal Homestead Tuck Tie in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. Please stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon. That alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Be safe. Always be kind. We'll see you guys in my next adventure. You guys go have some adventures yourself. It's fun. It's really fun. Bye-bye now.